What's up guys? How you all doing? For today's video, I really have to give a bath to Luke, Gus and Hugo right here. So, I trying to get my job a lot easier. I have three dogs now. There is no way I can just use a hose. So, I got here a dog spa. Let's see what it's all about. It is actually pretty heavy. Pop this open. Looks beautiful. We might have to do a little bit of assembly. I'm going to be using all this outside. So I don't really need this hair plug or anything like that. Because I'll just leave it out here open. But for fun I'll just keep it right here just in case. Looks like I can even make almost a bath out of it. Also it came with a little attachment for the hose. There's little doors and stickers. Kind of all came undone when it was getting delivered. But looks like it still works. Cool, looking pretty good. This hinge is looking kind of sideways, but I guess it's normal. Oh well. One problem I found, this right here, came with the closing pins, but there's only one pin on that closing pin. And I don't know where is the rest of the pins. They were supposed to be stuck together to this thing. Maybe they still inside of the bag. Okay, at least I found the second one, so I can still clamp it but maybe two top ones, so that way it can just hang on. Or maybe it's only came with two, it looks like it's supposed to come with four. But oh well, that's annoying. Sometimes you get stuff like that. Okay, you get this hose and connect it into the shower head. Boom. And look, it's retractable, which is perfect. Beautiful. I wonder what these things do. We'll have find out. Also. I see something very very cool on the inside. This side here look like a little spray bottle and there is six of them. Next step what we'll have to do is plug in this right here. It's a little attachment. It's all came together in it. So the only complaint is missing little tabs but I'm sure I can get some. Let's see how the connection works. Okay, and that's how you plug it in and that's where the water is going to come out. Time to shower, let's go. Good boy, good boy. Okay, first problem right here. If you push up a little bit on this thing, it kind of comes out. Stay, good boy, stay. Stay, look. Look at him yawning. You see, in the back over there, I might have to get some kind of stretchy band or something because this latchet is a little bit broken. So that's annoying. So if they push up a little bit, it'll get messed up. Okay, turn the water on. Oh wow, that's so cool. Look at that. It's all spraying from the outside all over him. That's so good. I love that option. I didn't even think it was there when I was ordering in it. But again, the door kind of push up, opens. Okay, this thing just does not work. I don't know if it's broken or just falling out so easily. So what I'm gonna do is get a stretchy band and fix it. By the way guys, if they jump out like that, there's two anchors, so you can hook them up so they cannot jump out. This is the idea of it. But I want them to actually do it without this anchors and without delicious, so they're actually enjoying it. Looks like he don't like those other sprinklers because he's not used to them. Look at his face. He's really enjoying this right now. The water is pretty cold because they'd rather be cooled off than get hotter. So what I'm doing right now is just trying to get him wet as much as I can. Because he is in a small box, he's not going to shake off that easily because he don't have an, enough space. So that way I can really soap him up. This thing right here is kind of annoying because it's leaking. So great idea, but the quality so far is uh, could have been better. Especially for how much they're selling it for. All right, gonna give him some shampoo. He needs a lot, cause they dirty, dirty doggies. All right, and then we're going to soap him up. Man, he's gonna be so much more whiter. Don't you look, don't you? <laughs> look at that, Hugo's jealous. <laughs> he's like, I want some too. You're gonna go next, it's okay. 
they really really muddy because it's been raining a lot and they love to dig in the mud for some reason can I get the tail it's so funny they're concerned for, for him or they trying to get some too on that action and check this out if I wanna wash his other side easy just wash his other side so honestly as a box this thing actually very very amazing very amazing i love it i just wish those little things like hoses did not leak and the hinge did not break those couple things that is kind of annoying but the rest that's an amazing idea one problem is i gotta be bent over the whole time which is a little bit annoying but that's how i always have to wash my dogs i have to be bent over Wow, he's really clean so far. He's getting that. Uh, he needs to be brushed. Look at all that fur in my hands. That's crazy. I should have done this bath a long time ago. Good boy, Luke. Good boy. They were advertising you gotta leash him so they don't jump out. But looks like Luke tolerated enough to where he don't have to jump out. Look at that. Really easy to clean him everywhere get his paw clean his paw get his front paw clean his front paw no big deal okay time to wash him off some happened to my water well we got a problem right here I was like where is my water and guess what wow looks so, so much fur coming out this layer connector have popped out completely that's really annoying this is what I'm saying all these little things are so cheap and just falling apart okay luckily it just clicked back together but it was annoying I had to stop the whole process and connect everything back together the only thing we gotta do is just send some more good boy look I'm gonna try to turn on this sprinklers on the inside or whatever they called Look at the sprinkler side here. Three right here and on the other side. It's perfect for rinsing, especially under where he sits in the mud every single day. Get all the ticks away. And all we have to do is flip this side here. It stop, flip this. And we can wash the top now. I mean rinse. Look at him. He is shedding so much. So giving huskies back even if they clean it's pretty important it keeps them cool and it's going to get rid of a lot of fur plus that way they get used to getting baths so that way they're not afraid of it it's so cute i love this opening right here it works perfect for my dogs i don't think it will work for the smaller dogs i think there is an attachment you can put under here so that way it's lift them up but I don't see that attachment it might be something that you have to purchase extra good boy good boy don't whine we're almost done and now once you're done you see he can't even shake him that well inside there but all once you're done and ready to let him out you can dry him off with the towel inside there too or you can let him out and dry him off or let him dry. <laughs> Good boy. Come on, let's go. Guys, not you right now. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. <laughs> That's why they have those anchors. He got bored. So I'm gonna water him real quick so they get used to this thing a lot faster. Then I'm going to add him shampoo, get him some shampoo going and now rubbing them. Good boy. Mm. His fur is a lot easier to wash off. He kind of have a baby fur compared to Luke. It's so weird. But yeah, you can walk around this thing, wash him. Good boy. Good boy. They're so nice. Guys need to get used to this stuff okay rinse stuff look at those sprinklers on the inside getting everything on the inside rinsed off and washed off but anyways 
if you don't care about spring colors you can just use this oh no as my, uh. you know what guys i might go back to my old ways the other thing is just annoying and looks like the dogs don't care about being so claustrophobic i guess how do you say that he just jumped out over but i haven't finished rinsing him off either and look i'm actually washing him without a leash i usually put a leash on him you seen how i wash my dog and just wash him up looks like they enjoying this so much more right here than being all closed up in a box and look at that they are pretty clean now especially look he used to be like mud dirty but we just need to fix a couple of patches of mud around our grass but yeah feels like it's still kind of hard honestly i still have to be bent over a lot to walk into this box you see what i'm saying to wash them all their legs and under body so it's kind of hard to use anyways with the hose i can sit down and wash them it's kind of same thing anyways and i don't have to pay 500 dollars or have this giant box in my backyard so i don't know i might go back to washing them my old ways just with the hose till i find something easier to use but yeah that's pretty much it let me know in comments below what do you think about this video don't forget to thumbs up subscribe and i'll see you next time